That's away. right. Yeah, That's sorry, right. Sorry, sorry <laughs> I hijacked your uh, class today. Oh, and those of you who missed class in person who are watching later, oh, you missed our fun exchange to start class. Oh, That's well. True. Okay. Uh, things we didn't want to record, but there we go. Um, bueno. Um, <clears throat> Uh, quick, quick reminder, we are, uh, I think we only need one more sign up for the next session to be mm. green lighted. So I'm sure we'll get that because, you know, yeah, it, it's no biggie. But just so that you know, para que sepan, because uh, we do have to have eight, we're at seven. I'm sure we'll get one extra. Mm. Um, so uh, next week is our last class of fall first session. And immediately the next week, no breaks in between, we'll okay. start the first or excuse me, we'll start the first class of fall two. Yeah. Okay. There's my business out of the way. Um it just wait. keeps can you just continue the curriculum, right? Oh, we just keep going. Keep we just going. pick yeah. some different things to do. Yeah. It's yeah, it's that's that's the way it has because you never know who's gonna sign up. We always have some new folks, uh, all the the uh, old timers, yeah. and and you know, yeah, that's fine. Um, but we're not gonna go like you know, super deep, hard grammar. Yeah, we keep it kind of simple. We try to keep it as simple as possible. Yeah. Okay. Um, bienvenidos y bienvenidas. Feliz lunes. Y hoy es un día de, mm, en cierto contexto, sí, de palabritas, uh, little, little tiny words. Today is a day of little tiny words and how little tiny words come into play. Um, I had a student in my very, very, very beginner class who said, oh, you know, if I get, if I get it wrong and I ask for el leche instead of la leche, will somebody... You know, like have a conniption fit with me, and I, I assured her, no, 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 no te preocupes, do not worry. Uh, you know, there are a lot of errors that are no big deal errors, the the NBDs, no big deals. Um, but you know, of course, we would like to kind of try to clean some of those up, or at least be aware, and 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 always do a little better. That's you know, that's what life is about. So. Today is uh, a day of noticing some tiny things, but uh, maybe why they happen, how they fit in, and all of them in context. So we're going to do that when we get to our video, uh, but we're going to start a, a warm up with a little bit more uh, shadowing. That means me saying a phrase and you guys repeating that phrase after me, or, you know, one person, we're gonna do this one-on-one. -on -a -one. Uh, little bit of shadowing for pronunciation, and um, uh, just a little bit of time with that, and then we're gonna move on to finishing up our gustar, our very last slide about verbs that are like gustar with your independent ideas. So those are going to be our two things. And then we're going to launch into kind of retelling our video. And that's where the little words and how they fit in will come into play. Uh, vale, bueno, mm, tengo que compartirles. Este, sí. Ah, el la gorra. La gorra de béisbol. Oh, this is one of those words. Speaking of little words and does uh, gender matter, gorra es cap. Okay. So the kind of thing you wear to a baseball game generally, I see, es una gorra. If we do flip that word from gorra to gorro, uh, it's a different kind of head covering, para que sepan, so that you know. Uh, gorro is like a cap that you pull down over your ears, so like a knit cap that you would wear in the winter to really oh. keep your head warm and cover up your ears, yeah, make it all toasty. That's un gorro, un gorro, a knit cap, uh, a cap for cold weather, right? Okay. Pero una gorra. Gorra is just your cap, you know, something light on your head to protect you from the sun. Okay. Um, 
Y vamos a empezar aquí. Dice, I think this is where we left off. Sí, sí. ¿Cuánto tiempo tarda, uh, tardará en limpiarse? How long will it take to get clean? Uh, planifique de 20 a 30 minutos más el tiempo de secado. Plan on 20 to 30 minutes. Plus, yeah, más is also, even in arithmetic, by the way, the word plus is más, which means more. Lógico, ok. Más el tiempo de sacado plus drying time. Ok, uh, let's get a few people to do some uh, shadowing here. Y vamos a empezar con enjuaga la gorra de béisbol. Enjuaga, enjuaga. Uh, almost looks like it's got <clears throat> agua built in there, almost. Enjuaga es rinse. Rinse, ok. Enjuaga. Spray it in Juaga. Okay. Hay alguien que quiere empezar. Anybody who wants to start a shadowing with me? ¿Quién quiere ser? Uh, ah, bueno, sure. sí, Julie. Aquí vamos, sí. Uh, comience por enjuagar su gorra de béisbol. Comience por enjuagar su gorra de béisbol. Varias veces. Varias veces. Con agua limpia. Con agua limpia. Uh, varias veces es several times. ¿Sí? Uh, we have a word various. And this is kind of like various, but it's more like several or many. ¿Sí? Uh, una frase más, Julie. Uh, gran parte... Gran parte... De lo que se acumula... De lo que se acumula... En acumula, su gorra... En su gorra... Probablemente sea. Probablemente sea. Suciedad superficial leve. Suciedad superficial leve. Que se desprenderá. Que se desprenderá. Con un buen enjuague. Con un buen enjuague. Bien, sí. Uh, start by rinsing off your baseball cap several times with clean water. Uh, most of what accumulates on your cap is probably light surface dirt, yeah? Uh, which will come off, which will release, yeah, with a good rinsing. Un buen enjuague, a good rinsing. Un buen enjuague. Un buen enjuague. <coughs> sí, bien, vale. Un buen enjuague. Y, uh, a ver, uh, I, I want you to notice, again, this is kind of part of our little words thing to notice for today. Lo que literally is like saying that which. Oh, and I need, un momento, my painter is flagging me. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry. No real baseball player would ever, would ever clean their cap. You know, you have to no, let no. the you stuff need, accumulate and then maybe next year get a new one. <laughs> okay. A ver. Okay. Uh, my, my painter guys just left. Wow. They did not take four hours. It was much less time. Uh, okay. A ver. When I, when I got guys tapping on my window next time, <laughs> I know it's like, uh, I need to go talk to them. Gracias. Okay. Lo que, lo que, that which. But nobody says that which, yeah. Uh, okay. Most, the way we would translate this in English is probably the word what. Gran parte, the most part or most of. Most of what builds up or accumulates on. Yeah, yeah. So know that when you mean what, Ah, uh, but not as a question, like, what is that? ¿Qué es eso? What is that? Uh, if what is buried not in a question, but in the middle of, yeah, like, most of what builds up, that is a little combination, the, the teeny word thing that will happen. Okay, 
Ah, aquí, adelante, adelante. Limpieza de manchas. Limpieza de manchas. Manchas son stains. Sí, uh, cleaning stains. ¿Quién quiere continuar? Who wants to continue with a little bit of shadowing? I'll try. Ah, bueno, Karen, muy bien. Si usas jabón para platos. Si usas jabón para platos. Mezcla una pequeña cantidad. Mezcla una pequeña cantidad. Con agua. Con agua. Sí, ah. Uh, Una frase más. One more sentence, Karen. Sí. Okay. Si usas detergente para ropa. Si usas detergente para ropa. Disuelve una pequeña cantidad. Disuelve una pequeña cantidad. En un recipiente. En un recipiente. Con agua. Con agua. If you use dish soap, mix a little with, uh, in a small amount of water. If you're using clothing detergent, dissolve. Disuelve, dissolve. See, uh, dissolve a small quantity in a recipient with water. In a water container. See, water container, un recipiente. Uh, vale, uh, adelante, adelante. Quien, quien, quien. Who wants to do a little bit of shadowing here? I'll try, I mean, but I, uh, my, okay. my screen is off. <laughs> okay, vale. Magnifico, sí. Uh, aplica la mezcla jabonosa. Aplica la mezcla jabonosa. Sí. Mix the soapy, or uh, I'm sorry, apply the soapy mixture. Sí, mezcla is the mixture, sí. Oh, en el cepillo de dientes. En el cepillo de dientes. O de uñas. O de uñas. Y luego frota. Y luego frota. Las marcas y manchas visibles. Oh. Las marcas y manchas visibles. Visibles. Bien, bien, bien. Del sombrero. Del sombrero. Haz pequeños movimientos. Haz pequeños movimientos. Sí. Circulares. Circulares. Uh, Como cuando te cepillas los dientes. Como cuando te... Cepillas las dientes. Sí. Para eliminar la suciedad más profunda. Para eliminar la suciedad. Soci... Ok. Suciedad suciedad. más profunda. Sí, más profunda. Más Bien, profunda. sí. Uh, apply the soapy mix on the uh, tooth or... Nail brush. Uña is nail brush. Sí. Uh, oh. uh, y, y frota. Rub. 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 Scrub. Sí. Scrub. Okay. Yeah. And scrub the marks and visible stains from the hat. Uh, and notice these are in... Uh, these are in two commands. If you didn't notice that, you'll notice it from the word as. Uh, aplica is a command. It's telling, this is like a recipe, yeah? Except, well, they're instructions. And instructions are often written with commands. But they'll look, uh, in most case, like a regular verb, like aplica. But this one doesn't look like the regular verb of hacer, H-A-C-E-R. This little word, as, is a tu command. It's an irregular command. But that's the way uh, we turn hacer into make or do. So here it's movements. So make small movements. Haz pequeños movimientos. Make small circular movements. Haz pequeños movimientos circulares. Uh, make small circular movements. Like, like when you brush your teeth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And here this para is in order to. In order to... Uh, eliminate. eliminate, remove uh, the deeper dirt, right? Uh, 
Sucio, S-U-C-I-O, Sucio is dirty, and dirt, <laughs> the stuff, is Sociedad, yeah? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, Sociedad. A lot of words that end in that, D-A-D, they're all nouns, by the way. Uh, a lot of the words that end in that wind up being like... Uh, 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 I-T-Y words in English, like quantity, cantidad, see? Uh, Mm -hmm. Libertad, liberty, uh, comunidad, community. And here we don't say dirt-a-ty, <laughs> yeah. but the that indicates that we're turning the word sucio, dirty, into a noun, a thing, dirt, dirtiness. Mm -hmm. But nobody says dirtiness in English. No, you just say dirt. Okay. Uh, bien. And we, uh, lavado a mano. We're going to do this last section and then we'll move on. Lavado a mano, uh, hand washing, hand washing, lavado a mano. Si, uh, un voluntario, volunteer, bueno, si, Jean, yeah. Jean, Jean, Jean. Okay. Yeah. Uh, llene un recipiente. Llene un recipiente. O fregadero. O fregadero. Con agua jabonosa. Con agua jabonosa. Ya sea con detergente. Ya sea con detergente. De ter... How do you say that? De detergente. 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 O lavavajillas. O lavavajillas. See, uh, llene is from llenar. See, uh, and I don't know why they didn't keep it a tu command here, because here it's a tu command. Uh, fill a recipient or a fregadero is your kitchen sink. Okay, fregadero. Fregadero. Uh, with soapy water, uh, be it with detergent or... Uh, or dishwashing soap. That's just a different way of saying that word. Lave el sombrero a mano. Lave el sombrero a mano. Wash the uh, hat by hand. Mm -hmm. Sumergiéndolo. Sumergiéndolo. Por completo. Cor por completo. En el recipiente. En el recipiente. Durante unos 10 minutos. Durante unos 10 minutos. Y luego, agitando. Y luego, agitándolo. Un poco. Un poco. Bien, ¿sí? Uh, wash, it by, uh, wash it by hand, submerging it completely or totally, right? Mm -hmm. uh, por completo would always hang together. Por completo, completely. Yeah, a way of saying completely. Um, and this word durante, we translate as during, but often it's used to say for a period of time. It might be used in that way, and that's how they're using it here. Durante unos diez minutos, for around 10 minutes. Yeah, for about mm -hmm. 10 minutes. Y agitándolo, agitar es... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uy, ¿cómo, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Agitando, uh, uh, swishing it around, <laughs> swishing it around, yeah. 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 Agitate, Agitando, agitate. Yeah. you have an agitator in a washing machine, right? Yeah. Uh, same idea, agitator, see, ¿sí? uh, y un poco here just means a little bit, see, ¿sí? okay. And who wants to continue this last little bit and then we'll give this. I'll rush. go. Okay. Magnifico. Si, si tu gorra. Si tu gorra. Esta especialmente. Esta especialmente. En marañada. En maranda. Yeah, that's a hard word. En marañada. En marana. En marana. <laughs> eh, oh, perdón. En marañada. Well, you know what? Let's let's break this down because long words are really challenging to pronounce. And um, you're not kidding. En maranda. <laughs> yeah. En maranda. En marañada. 
and mar an na da en marañada en marañada uh tangled messy messed up sí uh es posible que tengas es pos posible que tengas que cambiar el agua que cambiar el agua uh, no es que yo lo sepa por experiencia no es que yo lo sepa por experiencia experiencia experiencia, experiencia. Exacto, muy bien, muy bien. Uh, enjuaga la gorra. Enjuaga la gorra. Dos o tres veces. Dos o tres veces. Con agua corriente. Con agua corriente. Hasta que el agua que salga. Hasta que el agua que salga. Salga por ella. Salga por ella. Salga limpia. Salga limpia. Bien. Ok. So, uh, rinse the hat two or three times, dos o tres veces. Uh, when we talk about an iteration of time, dos o tres veces, two or three times, yeah? Uh, with running water. Agua corriente es running water. Ok. Not still water, but running water coming out of the faucet. And this hasta que, until. Until the water that comes out. Yeah, salir. It, this comes from salir. Uh, and it looks like salgo. You know this verb is salgo. I go out. Salgo de la casa. Okay? But here it's a subjunctive. Until the water comes out uh, clean. Until the water rinses out clean. Until the water runs clean. Yeah? Um, uh, this... Uh, When we have this phrase, hasta que, until, we're saying that you're doing it and now until this happens and that next thing of coming out clean has not yet happened. And anytime we talk about events that are not yet really happening in real time, we need to use what is called the subjunctive. So this looks like salgo, it's based on salgo, but it's not talking about yo, right? Uh, until the water runs, running out through the faucet, comes out clean. Bien? Okay? Vale? Mm -hmm. Bien. The important thing to maybe recognize with the salga is, you know it comes from salir? Do you need to identify it as, oh, this is a subjunctive? No, you don't. You know that it means go out, come out, and you know you're talking about you know, running water through it till it comes out clean, till you know it's cleaned out. Good enough, right? You don't have to be able to produce in speech that verb salga, but when you hear it, no, ah, it comes from salir, come out. So the water comes out of the faucet. Okay, Esto, that's all you need to know. Okay, bien. A continuar. Let's move on. And we're going to actually... Can I ask a question, Marilyn? Oh, sí, sí, perdón. ¿Cómo se dice dishwasher? Ah. In español. Hay dos palabras. There are two words, depending on which area. Lavavajillas. Lavavajillas. Is, I think what you hear more in Mexico, lava vajillas, but you hear lava the lava, vajillas. yeah, lava vajillas is washing dishes. In uh, Spain and, uh, well, sometimes in South America, you might hear uh, lava platos, lava platos, yeah, uh, so, lava vajillas, and I'm going to actually write the lava vajillas in a, uh, so you see it, because it's a long word, and you're thinking, how the heck do you spell that? Uh, at least on the whiteboard. I guess I ask because I always put my caps in the dishwasher to wash them. Ah, so I was trying to figure out how I would say that. See, <laughs> sí. uh, lava vajillas. Oh, perdón, got my fingers on the wrong keys. 
Hmm. Lava baquillas. And it gets an S at the end. Gotcha. Because baquillas are all the things you use, your cutlery, your glasses, your dishes. That's just all of it. Great big combination. Lava baquillas or lava platos, which also ends in an S because you put all your dishes in there. Yep. Lava platos, lava baquillas. Igual. So, but that is, that, is that the action or the noun? The noun. Okay. The noun, the thing, the machine. Mm -hmm. El, el electrodomestico. El electrodomestico, the appliance. Lava vaquillas. And this is a combination of those two words. This is likewise, combination of those two words. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of machine or device oriented words in Spanish often do this thing of combining uh, two words together to turn it into a noun. I'll give you another example, which is one you'll recognize. Paraguas is actually the same thing. It combines para, which means stop, aguas, stops waters. An umbrella. Ah, huh. yeah. Uh, another word that is like that in Spanish is sacacorchas, uh, a corkscrew, because sacar means to take out, and a corcha is a cork. Sacacorchas. Uh, bien. Uh, so a lot of words in Spanish for little gadgets or machines uh, or devices wind up combining a couple of words, kind of an action thing with a noun thing. Yeah, sacar, take out, sacar corchas, see? Or, oh, another one, abre latas. Abre latas, a can opener. Because abrir is to open, right? So abre latas, it opens cans. Latas are cans. <laughs> or as the Brits say it, uh, tins. Yeah. Uh, abre latas is a device that opens your can. Uh, a lot of little words in Spanish wind up being uh, combinations. We combine an action word with a, a thing, a noun. And those Marilyn, may I ask a question? A uh, CC. Uh, with the A-S-O-S, -S, that's not plural then. That is the actual word. Which word? Lava vajillas. Oh, it lava vajillas. Yeah, this is the part that gets the S. Okay. So, yeah. so it, is, it is just meaning one. Yeah, the noun end of it, the very last part is what gets the S. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. the very end of it gets the S. See? Bien. Okay. Vale. Ah, muy bien. Bueno, adelante. We're going to move on and take a look at our next thing, which is more active practice. We're going to kind of put a uh, tie up a bow and wrap it up. Our uh, little review of gustar and verbs that share the same structure. And this is uh, the last bit we did not finish last week. So we're gonna review what kinds of verbs those are. Uh, they are like gustar, they're structured like gustar. And that means that most of the time you're gonna hear it as a, a singular or a plural, but you're not gonna hear them as a yo, or tú, or nosotros. You might, but not very often, okay? Not very often. And what happens is we have to have these little pronouns in front of these kinds of verbs that uh, are structured like gustar, right? And everybody recognizes gustar because it's one of those early verbs we learn in Spanish. Me gusta, me gustan. Me gusta when it's with activities or me gusta when it's liking one thing. Me gustan when it's liking something that is a plural group of things. Okay, por ejemplo, me gustan, uh, 
me gustan los partidos de béisbol. I like baseball games, por ejemplo. Uh, pero me gusta el béisbol. Me gusta jugar al béisbol. Ok. Uh, so, uh, some of the verbs that we, a ver, ¿dónde están? ¿Dónde están? Uh, some of the verbs that you might hear that are structured that way are interesar, to be interested in. Something interests you or interests somebody. Encantar, which just bumps up gustar and makes it more intense, meaning you love something. You're crazy about it. Yeah. Uh, importar, something matters. And this actually was snuck into, well, it wasn't snuck in. This was mentioned, importar, in the video with Juan that we'll get to in a little bit. Yeah. Importar to matter because something that matters is important to somebody. So if it's me importa, it matters to me. Te importa, matters to you. Yeah, it's important to you. Uh, molestar to bother. And there, honestly, is a super long list. I cannot give you a, a finite list of here are all the verbs that'll do this because I would surely leave something out. Uh, but we're picking some that were very, very uh, common. And you might even hear parecer used that way. You might even hear caer used this way when you talk about liking a person. Yeah. Uh, so we had all these prompts that we used last week, but... Now we're going to move on to something very, very general. Think about things that you like or love or are interested in or they matter to you or whatever, using something that's like gustar. And it can be anything you like that you want to talk about. Uh, so this is our tie it up in a bow, our, our ending little drill. Uh, a thing or an activity or things that you like or love, are interested in, lo que sea, whatever it might be. Bien. Um, I will start off with an example here. Uh, ooh. Okay. Uh, and you can even make them negative. We'll do a positive and a ne negative example. See, uh, por ejemplo, me encanta. Uh, me encanta hacer ejercicio en el otoño. I love to exercise in fall. See, ¿Sí? in the fall. See, ¿Sí? me encanta, and it has to be singular, a singular, me encanta, not me encantan, uh, because it's hacer ejercicio. See, ¿Sí? me encanta eh, hacer ejercicio en el otoño, uh, but it would be plural if I had something like me encantan. Uh, uh, oh, me encantan. Los adornos de Halloween. Yeah. Me encantan los adornos de Halloween. I love Halloween decorations. Yeah. Uh, bien. Um, otro ejemplo. Otro ejemplo, pero en forma negativa. Sometimes you might want to make it a... A, a negative form. Uh, por ejemplo, um, uh, no me importa mucho, no me importa mucho el fútbol, soccer. No me importa mucho el fútbol. I don't, football doesn't really matter to me. This is like saying, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> about whatever it is, yeah? A ver, ¿sí? Bien. Ok. Uh, so we can make it a negative idea or a positive idea. Uh, ¿Cuáles son sus ejemplos? What are your examples? Something that I'm going to take it 
off of share for a moment so that I could see everybody's faces. Uh, yay. Yeah. Uh, un ejemplo. Thanks, thanks. Some example from you guys? I have an example. Me gusta un bueno vino. Okay. Okay. ¿Qué más? Me encanta, me encanta cantar la música de Broadway. Ah, yeah. oh, sí, sí, sí. Bueno, muy bien. Ah, Marcos. Uh, me importan la calidad de nuestro aire y agua. Ah, ah me importa la calidad because it's quality. Even though you're naming a couple of things, it's the quality. So, yeah, me importa looks at that word calidad, quality. La calidad del aire y del agua. Sí, bien. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if I took out the word calidad, quality, and I looked at just el agua y... Uh, el aire y el, y el agua, then it would be me importan el aire y el agua. But when you add in the la calidad, it makes it, you know, me importa, it matters to me. Bien, bien. Bueno, ¿qué más? Please. Otras ideas. Any other things to add on? Things you like, love, that bug you? No. Nada. Me, 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 me molesta limpiar la ducha. Me, sí, me, mole, me molesta también limpiar sí. la ducha. Ah, sí. it bugs me to have to wash the shower. Sí. Uh, <laughs> clean the shower. Sí, eso. Exacto. Uh, Julie. Uh, me molestan los políticos que no decir verdad. Ah. Mm. Qué gran categoría. What a big category that is. Okay. Bien. Uh, vale. Bueno. ¿Qué más? I'll, I'll throw another one out there. Okay. It's okay. Um, me interesan fotos con autógrafos. Ah, sí. Bien. Interesan. They're interesting to me. Eso sí. Uh, me interesa la historia. Me interesan, me, me interesan sus ideas. Your idea, I, ideas interest me. Sí. Me interesan sus ideas. Ok. Vale. Otras cosas. Any other things? No. Me gustan las puestas del sol. Ok. Mm -hmm. Sí. Perfecto. Bien. Vale. ¿Algo más? Anything else? Uh, I have one. Yeah, bien. Me molesta cuando la temperatura hace calor. Hace calor. Ok. Uh, oh, I'm going to show you one little extra thing. And this is a tough one. Now... If you say that, there's a little twist we got to put on it, and I would not expect you to know it. Okay? So here's what I want you to know. It's like a dirty little secret add-on we're going <laughs> to show you here. Uh, uh, me gusta is a verb that talks about emotions, right? How you feel. Yeah? Okay. And when... I'm just saying I like to do something myself or I say I like an item. It's just me gusta or me gustan, right? Okay. Uh, me gusta, uh, uh, me, me gusta jugar con los niños. I like playing with the kids, you know, if you've got little kids or grandkids or whatever. Me gusta jugar. I like to play. You're not saying you like the kids. You're saying you like to play, right? Um, 
Here's the dirty little secret part. Although if you said it that way, your original idea, somebody would totally understand what you mean. When I apply a verb of emotion to what somebody else does, there's a little twist we're going to give it, and I'll show you. Um, me gusta. Uh, cuando. I like it when. Uh, I like it when... Uh, I like it when you tell me the truth. Mm -hmm. ¿Sí? yes, me gusta yeah. cuando me digas la verdad. Not as for, not as for dad, but la verdad. Okay. La verdad, la verdad, the truth. Sí. Sí. Uh, I like it. Verbs of emotion, when we apply it to something that somebody else, not me, see, this applies an action to myself. I like to play. I like, and the thing I like is when I do this. Okay. But when I like that somebody else does something, this little thing needs to go into that little subjunctive. So mm -hmm. now, if you forgot that and just put it into a present tense, would somebody understand you? Yes, they would. Okay. But it would sound a little off to them, but they would understand your idea. Uh, uh, so, por ejemplo, uh, me gusta uh, cuando uh, haga, uh, haga fresco. I like it when it makes cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it when it's cool outside. See, uh, because it's something else doing that action of becoming cool in the temperatures outside. Entiendes? Uh, it's a little twist. It's something to think about. Mm -hmm. If you don't do it perfectly, not a big deal. But para que sepan, just so you know. Uh, verbs of emotion like gustar or encantar or I'm happy that, yeah. Uh, oh, I'm happy. I'm happy that you're coming to the party. Yeah. Uh, when we have a verb of emotion, I'm happy that this thing, that somebody else is doing something, that other thing is going to go into that funny little subjunctive and it'll be a switch the endings kind of verb. Um, that is, will happen. Is that only true, Marilyn, when it's a person? Like I, one of mine was me molesta cuando mi dormitorio es sucio. Uh, but the, but mi dormitorio, mi cuarto, my room isn't really doing an action. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, so I don't need there, to use the, I don't need to yeah. use the, uh, but, the, the little trick. Then. But the thing about weather is really they conjugate it for, you know, something else. So verbs yeah. of emotion. But just so you, you know, just keep it in the back pocket. Recognize when you hear it, you don't have to be able to produce that verb form all the time. Para que sepan, just so you know. Okay? Bien. Vale. Bueno. Uh, muy bien. Adelante, adelante. I want to show you the next item here. We're going to take a look at, we're going to do a walkthrough here. But we're going to preview some vocabulary before we do that so that we feel a little more confident of it. Sí, aquí. Este sí. Um, este video sí de, de tengo novia. Tengo novia o tengo una novia. Here is where our little word idea is going to pop in. It's kind of a no big deal, but it's a good thing to start to get used to. Uh, novia o novio es uh, novia, girlfriend, novio, boyfriend. Uh, that word can also be used for newlyweds, by the way. Yeah. Somebody who just got married and they're on their honeymoon. Yeah, los novios. Uh, uh, bien. Um, you know, normally we're used to saying, I have a boyfriend, I have a girlfriend, and we always have that word, uh, right? And 
In Spanish, in this case, you won't always use the word a. Uh. So, when is it right to say just tengo novia versus tengo una novia? And for this little one word thing, we're going to go to the end explanation first before we do our little walkthrough. And he tries to teach things, of course, through context. Yeah. Perdón, 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 perdón por la interrupción. Perdón Excuse por me for la the interrupción. Pero, 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 pero. Os habéis dado cuenta. Os habéis... And this os, just think of it, uh, 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 we would have a, a se. Uh, the os is the you guys verb in Spain, but we don't use it in Latin America. Os habéis... Have you realized or did you get it? Did you realize, see? Uh, darse cuenta, darse cuenta means to realize. Did you guys realize? Cuando hablo, cuando hablo de mi situación sentimental. When I talk about my relationships, yeah? Digo, tengo novia. Normal. Tengo novia. En español, es solamente tengo novia. I have a girlfriend, and the word a uh, won't come into play. Uh, I'm going to let him explain that a little more. Normalmente, normalmente se dice así, tengo novio o tengo novia. Sin artículo. Sin artículo without the article, meaning without the word a. Uh. A yeah. uh and the are articles. Sin un o una. Hmm. A veces, a veces, a veces, podemos decir tengo una novia o tengo un novio, pero mm, mm, en ese caso, en ese caso normalmente, normalmente no, no hablamos de nuestra, de nuestra relación sentimental, sino de, de cómo es, de cómo es la persona, de cómo es... Ah. Where we do plug in the word a, uh, an article, is not when we say, I have a boyfriend or I have a girlfriend, but when we plug in more information that describes that person, then we do inject that little word una. Entonces, sí, yeah. When we're not talking about just our relationship status, but rather... I've got a girlfriend that dances great. I've got a boyfriend who is super nice. So when I am injecting, and you see in the uh, his little tabs there, tengo una novia, tengo una novia fenomenal. I've got a fabulous girlfriend. Tengo un novio muy inteligente. I've got a really intelligent boyfriend. When I'm adding more information about that person, then we do plug in the word un or una. Okay? But if it's just telling the status, I've got one. <laughs> Tengo novio. Then we throw out, we get rid of that word un. Okay? And by the way, por cierto, by the way, this happens also when I say tengo hijos. I have kids. Okay, you might inject a number. Tengo dos hijos, tengo tres hijos. Okay, say whatever it might be, right? But uh, 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 tengo esposo. I've got a husband. So. Uh, this relationship thing with tener, yeah, there we go. When I add a descriptive quality to that person's, uh, uh, to the idea of that person, then I have to plug in the un or una word. Es la persona con, con la que estamos. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, podemos decir, tengo una novia, tengo una novia que es muy guapa. Ten I've got a girlfriend who is very good looking. Yeah. Who is very good looking is more information. It's descriptive. So tengo una novia 
It's appropriate there. Tengo una novia italiana. Ten I've got an Italian girlfriend. Tengo una, novia. Tengo una novia que me quiere mucho. I've got a girlfriend who loves me a lot. <laughs> who loves me a lot is more information. Ooh, my camera went out. Momentito. Que paso? Okay. Uh, so, the moment I start to describe that word novio or novia, then I plug in the idea of un or una. It's a little thing, uh, but Me good to know. Muchísimo. En esos casos, en esos casos, estamos describiendo, estamos describiendo a la persona con la so que estamos saliendo. Al we're, no. we're describing the person you're going out with. Novio o a la novia, pero mm, para hablar. Para hablar del tipo de relación sentimental que tenemos con alguien, simplemente, simplemente decimos, tengo novia. So, just to say your status, I've got this person. To dis just to say this relationship exists, tengo get rid novia. of the word un or una. <coughs> tengo yeah. novia, tengo novio. Sí, tengo esposo, tengo esposa, tengo hijos. Uh, uh, bien, así, like that, ¿ok? Vale, bueno. Momentito. Let's, now we're going to kind of proceed to our phase of kind of doing our walkthrough. But before we do our walkthrough, and what I will want you guys to help do in the walkthrough is to narrate what is going on in any way you want. It doesn't have to be repeating the words he used in the video, but narrating, telling what is happening, telling what things look like, what he is doing, okay? What you think about it. Any of those things are fair game. So before we uh, jump up to that, we're gonna take a look at some vocabulary. And I gave you some words to think about here. Vocabulario en contexto. See if you can guess at what these words mean. And I've, th this is a very uh, uh, colloquial bit here. Tío or tía literally is uncle or aunt, right? But this is the word for guy or gal. And it's only in Spain, by the way. Okay. So you won't hear tío or tía all the time in Mexico. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, different. It's a regional thing. Okay. Uh, so he's not talking about looking for his aunt. <laughs> Lo importante, the important thing here. Mm, por allí, por allí. Is okay. around yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, por allí, around there. Por aquí, around here. Por has that idea of around, in the vicinity of. Okay. Por with a, por with a, a location, in this case, uh, and it's a vague location there. <laughs> uh, por aquí does the same thing. Uh, is the idea of in this vicinity. Let's talk about a general vicinity, see? Uh, por allí, uh, you may hear it as por aquí, around here. Okay, bien, see? Uh, you might hear it as por todas partes. And that's like saying everywhere, all over. All over. General vicinity. Really general. Yeah? Uh, okay. Yo que si se, this word si, and actually I think in the original file I have forgotten to type in the word si, uh, but if you just hear si with a verb, is kind of like saying in English, do. Yo que si se, I, I what I do know. See? That si with a verb is like our indicating what I do know. Yo se, I know. Yo si se, I yes know. <laughs> I yes know, <laughs> have knowledge, is like saying, oh, I do know. 
yo que sí sé, what I do know, okay? Uh, fijaos is just a uh, way of saying notice. Fijarse is to notice or to check out, uh, to pay attention. Uh, and it is from fijarse. So in Spain, they would say fijaos. Hey, look, you guys. Hey, check it out, you guys. Fijaos. Uh, but in Latin America, it will sound like this. Fíjense, fíjense, check it out, you guys. This is the you guys form, see? Fíjense, instead of fijaos, which is very, very Spain because it's the vosotros thing. Yeah. Uh, in Latin America, you will hear this expressed as fíjense. And that means check it out. Hey, pay attention to this. Look at that. Look, look, look. Fíjense, look, notice this. Okay, empedradas. He showed us something in the street and he called these empedradas. Calles empedradas. Do you have a guess as to what empedradas means? Cobblestones. Cobblestones. Yeah, cobblestones or bricks. Yeah, cobblestone, cobblestone. We say cobblestone streets. They are calles empedradas. And buried in that word empedradas is something that is the word for a rock or a stone, right? Uh, I'm going to show you piedras, uh, and it's got an I in the middle. Piedras are uh, rocks or stones or pebbles, yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah, piedras, see? Uh, piedras. And that word piedras, when it becomes empedradas or empedrado, if it's just masculine, it's the same thing. Uh, it's describing that the street is made out of lots and lots of little stones stuck together. We call them cobblestones, yeah? Uh, me recuerda. Uh, this is a verb that is... Uh, in that gustar structure. And this is, it reminds me. Right. Recordar is to remember, but recuerdo is I remember. And if somebody says, me recuerda, and they mention a thing, it reminds me, yeah, see, like me importa, it matters to me, like me interesa, it matters to me. Me recuerda means something reminds me, okay, yeah. vale? Me recuerda, it reminds me, okay. Soltero, you probably have a guess for what that means. Single. Single, yeah, single, unmarried, yeah. Uh, not a single day or not a, uh, well, a single person isn't a single human being. Single, unmarried, see? Uh, tener el ilusiones, mm, to no have, illusions. yeah, to have illusions, literally. Uh, uh, but how might we generally say that in English? To dream? Yeah. About to dream. To, right. Yeah. To, uh, uh, you know, to get an idea, like, mm, get your hopes up. Yeah. Uh, that kind of vein, okay? Uh, dando vueltas. Going around. Yeah, turning around. Dar is to give. And vueltas is a turn, uh, to give turns, yay. Well, uh, it would mean to walk around or walk around in circles. Oh, go in circles, I guess you could say, right? Uh, be going around and around and around, okay? Uh, dar una vuelta, uh, doy una vuelta, I'm, I'm taking a turn around the block, you know? 
like that kind of idea, see? Aquí tampoco means not here either. The tampoco is the not either part. Aquí is the here part, right? Not here either. Aquí tampoco, not here either. Okay, callejuela is a thing. It is a place. And you see calle, street, buried in the middle of that. Mm. But changes the meaning a little bit when it's callejuela. Callejuela is? Alleyway. Uh, yeah, an alley. Uh, ooh, you might call it a back street. Okay. Yeah, something small and very narrow. Yeah, not a place where you'll generally, well, if you drive a car, it'll have to be like, it's a tight fit, yeah. Uh, callejuela is an alley or a back street, not a main street that goes up to a front door, okay? It's like between a set of uh, like buildings in a block or out back where they maybe make a delivery to a store, something like that. Callejuela, alley. Uh, tengo el sol de frente. Mm. He was talking about having what? The sun in front of him. Yeah, the sun in front of him. And in English, though, you would probably say. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, I have I the sun in my face. Or you might say I'm facing the sun. Mm. Okay. Yeah, but literally it is, I have the sun in front of me. Okay. Uh, bien. Okay. Vale. Me da un poco de vergüenza. Oh, it's another verb that is being used kind of like... Gustar. Me da means it gives me. It gives me a little bit of embarrassment. embarrassment. Vergüenza literally is shame, and that's kind of strong to say it gives me shame. But we would say embarrassed, mortified. Mortified, mortified. embarrassed, yeah. Uh, but often, instead of saying I am embarrassed, uh, it is often expressed as something, a situation gives me embarrassment, yeah? But it's their way, uh, me da, it gives to me, and then whatever quality follows. Vergüenza, embarrassment. So this is a way of saying I'm embarrassed. Okay. Bien? Bien? Mm -hmm. uh, a mis años. My age. Yeah, my, my age. age, yeah. At my age, at my years. <laughs> Bien? Okay. Uh, well, it's not important to my age. Yeah. Uh, uh, he <clears throat> perdido a mi novia. I lost my girlfriend. <laughs> I, I lost track of her. Yeah? Yeah? Because he was looking for her all over, right? I lost my girlfriend. Just me he perdido with... Out the novia thing, me perdido, and I'll take out of our cual es la diferencia, because we're going to tell you. Uh, me perdido, I got lost. Mm. I myself got lost. I don't know where I am. I got lost. Me perdido, I got lost. E per and, and notice we've got this E. I got myself lost. It's a past idea. Me he perdido. I got lost. In Mexico, you'd probably hear it expressed as me perdí. But in Spain, to just say, oh my gosh, I'm all turned around. I don't know where I am. Me perdido. I got lost. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here's a great modal verb like puedo ir or voy a ir or uh, quiero ir, right? Uh, this is acabar de, acabar, acabar de indicate something that has just happened. Acabo de ver, 
I just saw my girlfriend. I mean, no, yeah. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. I just saw my girlfriend. See? Uh, uh, os lo juro. I swear it to you. <laughs> I, I swear. <laughs> Uh, you're you're affirming something really is true. Honest to God, it's an honest to God phrase. Honest to God. Honest to God. Yeah, I swear it to you, right? And the donde estás is just the past of. Uh, Where were you? Where were yeah, you? donde estás. It's the past of donde estás. So at the end, you heard her say donde estabas. Uh, instead of saying, where are you? It's where were you? Were you? Yeah. Uh, so the donde estabas is where were you? <laughs> and the were is, of course, a past idea. So the way that they have to express that is not as donde estás, where are you right now? Well, obviously, he, she can see him, but donde estabas, where were you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know where the heck you went off to, right? Uh and just he mentions something at the very end, no te vayas. No te vayas is a command. No te vayas means, hey, don't leave, don't go, don't take off. Yeah. Uh, don't take off, don't go. Okay. Bien. Vale. So there is some of our vocabulary, and hopefully you were able to guess a few of those. But if you didn't, no big worries. We're going to see if you can do some... Uh, I'm going to leave our closed captioning on. We're going to see, we're going to start from the beginning. I'm going to skip his, uh, skip the preliminaries. We're going to do all what I like to call a walkthrough. That means I'd like you guys to kind of interrupt with what is happening. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está esta tía? Es por el... ¿Dónde está esta tía? Marilyn, can you show us the video? I was going to say, oh, I perdón. don't see the video. Oh, it may be. Okay. Perdón. Gracias. Thank you. I thought I had it turned on, but it didn't turn off the old one. Ah, mejor. Better. Better there he is. Yep. Ah, bien. Perfecto. ¿Dónde está esta tía? Where is that gal? And he's not talking about his aunt. <laughs> Tia. Yeah. Ah. Es por allí o por allí? Is she... Over there? Okay. ¿Qué hace? What is he doing? ¿Qué hace? And you can use... There's no wrong answer here unless you say something like he's washing the dishes. Because <laughs> he's not <laughs> doing that. Ella bus, busca su, uh, su novia. Está, está, está. ¿Cómo se dice he's looking for? Está buscando. Está buscando a su novia está buscando a su novia uh, ¿cómo se dice he wants to see his girlfriend? Uh, quiere ver a su, no a su novia quiere ver a su novia bien él es un calle es en un calle Oh, perdón, Jean, otra vez. Um, so, he, he, uh, he, él es en una calle. Está en una calle, perfecto, con, sí. Here's the word, con empedradas. Ah, <laughs> está en una calle empedrada, exacto, muy bien, muy bien. Uh, yo que sé, wow, what do I know? Estoy perdido. I am lost. Lost. Yes. I'm lost. Perdido. Yeah. Am I? Ah, no está en España. Está en Italia. Ah, sí.
Ok. Uh, es tan desierta. Sí. Hmm. ¿Cómo es la ciudad? ¿Cómo es? ¿Qué es? Like? ¿Es antigua o vieja? Es una ciudad antigua. Es una ciudad muy vieja. Perfecto. Sí. Um, es una ciudad enorme. No, it's, it's not no, normal. no es enorme. ¿Cómo es? Es pequeño. Es una ciudad pequeña. Es un pueblo. Es un pueblo. It's a town. Ah. Es un pueblo con no carros en las calles. Ah, no hay carros o oh, no hay muchos carros. Mm -hmm. En las sí. calles, exacto, exacto. ¿Cómo se dice quiet? Ah, es una ciudad tranquila. 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 Oh, yeah. The problem is sometimes a car will pass by. De vez en cuando, from time to time. ¿sí? No mucho carro. <laughs> sí, no hay mucho tráfico. No hay mucho tráfico. No demasiado mm -hmm. a menudo. Not, not too often. Demasiado too, T O O. ¿sí? Not mm -hmm. too often. Me recuerda mucho Granada. It reminds me of Granada. 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 Granada es la ciudad natal de Juan. It's his hometown. Ah. Es, sí. Él nació en uh, Granada. He was born in Granada. Y aquí sí. ah, estoy en Italia. Pero soy de Granada, origen, el origen con ser, la ubicación, location con estar, sí. I'm in Italy, but I'm from, yeah, I'm originally from Granada. La ciudad más bonita de España. ¿Cómo se dice? Um, stones. Uh, stones themselves are piedras. Mm -hmm. Piedras. Piedras. ¿Sí? So, El piquito. Uh, astre oh, gosh. <laughs> you say astreta? Uh, what do you want to say? ¿Qué quieres decir? Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> um, the stones seem to be smaller than, than like. Ones in France or something. <laughs> ah, las piedras parecen las ¿sí? piedras uh, más pequeñas. Más pequeñas. Que en Francia. Que Francia. Es buena observación, Lisa, sí. Es buena. A, a veces con, cuando de, hablamos de calles empedradas, son piedras de tamaño así, ¿no? Pero aquí, muy pequeño, ¿sí? Porque es, me imagino, I, I would imagine, me imagino que esta ciudad en Italia es una ciudad medieval, kind of a medieval type city, ¿sí? Um, yeah. Sí. Y aquí va a hablar, oh, aquí habla de su situación, que esto, él nos dice, estoy soltero. No, I am. Okay, see it. I'm a single guy. See. So so mm -hmm. 
No me he casado nunca. I never got married. married. Okay. Yeah, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> no te hagas muchas. Don't get your hopes up, ladies. He's <laughs> okay. Oh, he's always tongue in cheek. Ah, estoy... ah, and here you see the first thing of if he's just talking about his relationship status, we take out that word un or una. Estoy soltero. I'm a single guy. Yeah, I'm single. I'm single, pero tengo novia, but I've got a girlfriend. So, Marilyn, I don't see the video changing. I don't know if you're showing it. Oh, yes. I don't know if others are. Seeing. I just have him still standing in the street pointing his finger. Me too. Okay. Oh, you can't see it. Okay. Oh, no, I can see the video. It's just not moving. Gracias. Thank yeah. you. For I'm like, oh, it sounds like she's because... going forward in the movie because I, I did watch it. <laughs> oh, one, one. Hmm. Let me make sure. I'm going to adjust one thing here. It makes sense to stop start it as you go through it. But... Uh, let me try this again. I may have had a setting that was messing with that. Shouldn't have been, but. Okay, let's see if this is better. This is a Zoom thing. Better? Mejor? I see a different picture. Oh, no, okay. yeah. Can you see basically yeah, yeah. his head? Okay. Mejor? No, better? Okay. Okay. Como yeah. ese chico. Ese chico también tiene novia. Sí, esos chicos, esos chicos son novios. Son novios. A mí la verdad es que la palabra novio o novia pff, no me gusta mucho. No me gusta. Ah, no me gusta mucho. He doesn't, he doesn't like that phrase. Estaba de joven y ahora de viejo, de viejo tampoco. I didn't like it as Pero a young guy and I don't like it as a young guy. Esa es la palabra que se usa en español, ¿no? Novio, novia. Tengo novia. Estoy soltero, pero tengo I'm single, novia. Sí. But I've got a girlfriend. Por cierto, por by cierto, the way, by llevo the un montón way. de tiempo dando vueltas por aquí y no encuentro, no encuentro a mi novia. No sé dónde está. No encuentro a mi novia. No encuentro a mi novia. No encuentro a mi novia. Finding my girlfriend. Ah, I'm not. ¿Cómo? To encounter, or I don't encounter. Right, find. Mm -hmm. Ah, find. ¿Cómo se dice he can't see her? No puede verla. No puede verla. Verla. Ver a ella. No la, no la. The la is the her part. No la puede ver. No la puede ver, or you can also take that la and stick it on the end of ver. No puede verla. Él no puede verla. He cannot see her. No puede verla. No sé dónde está. Llevo mucho tiempo dando vueltas por aquí. I've been spending a lot of time going around and... Around. around around the vueltas is going in circles yeah. i've been yeah i've been yes. going all but aquí but aquí is around here bien okay entonces él no tiene éxito he is not successful no tiene éxito en encontrar a su novia No encuentro a mi novia. Yo, yo tengo novia, sí, yo tengo novia. <ríe> lo siento, lo siento porque yo sé que hay muchas chicas, hay muchas mujeres que, en fin, que, eh, que quieren, que quieren. <ríe> que um, quieren conocerme y que piensan que, que piensan que soy muy guapo. 
They think I'm handsome. He he always does. He's a very tongue in cheek. Okay. <ríe> lo siento, lo siento. Sorry, pero, sorry, ladies. Pero mm, tengo novia, ¿eh? Tengo tengo novia. Lo que pasa es que no sé dónde está. Quizás, quizás eh, por allí, quizás por allí. Ah, quizás por allí. Maybe over there. Over, over there. there. Maybe. Allí hay una plaza, ¿vale? Allí hay una plaza. Sí, porque por aquí. Por aquí no hay nadie, tío. En estas calles no hay nadie. Allí hay una plaza. Vamos a ver. No hay nadie. Oh, Vamos, yo no sé si eh, es, estos dos chicos, este chico y esta chica, son novios o están casados. Yo no lo sé. Yo no lo sé. Yo lo que sí sé, yo lo que sí sé es que tengo novia, tío. Tengo novia, pero no sé dónde está. No sé dónde está. Aquí tampoco. Aquí tampoco está. Ah, aquí tampoco está. She's not here either. Aquí tampoco está. Here, not either. Is she. <laughs> aquí tampoco está. She's not here either. Ah, ¿qué pasa aquí? ¿Qué vemos aquí? Dos, dos chicas. ¿Y qué hacen las dos chicas? Montan en bicicleta. Están montando en bicicleta. Sí, hay dos chicas. ¿Son chicas muy pequeñas o son como adolescentes? Adolescentes. adolescentes. Son más como adolescentes. Sí, hay dos chicas adolescentes y montan, están montando en bicicleta. Y una tiene, una chica, la primera chica, la primera chica tiene un globo. Tiene un globo de color rosa. Rosa, tiene rosa. un globo de color rosa. Ah, sí. Ok. Y ellas pasan, pero todavía busca a la novia. Todavía busca. He's still looking. Todavía busca la novia. Mi Buscas. novia es italiana. Las italianas son unas mujeres muy guapas. Mi novia Italians es alta, women. morena, ¿m? alta y morena. Eh, él describe a la novia, ¿sí? Ella es alta y morena, ¿sí? ¿Es rubia? ¿Es rubia? No. No, no es rubia, es... Morena. Morena. Morena, bien. Muy, muy simpática. Muy simpática. Inteligente, inteligente. Y joven. Bueno, no es tan joven, no es tan joven como estas chicas. Sí, uh, 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 es una comparación. No es tan joven. La novia de Juan no es tan joven como estas chicas. He's not, she's not as young as. Sí. Mm -hmm. No es adolescente, claro que no. Pero, en fin, es más joven que yo. El problema, el problema, el problema, el problema es que no sé dónde está, tío. No sé, no sé dónde se ha metido. No sé dónde está, está de verdad. Herself. Voy a ir por aquí. Where the heck is she? Voy a ir por esta callejuela. Voy a entrar. Oh, ¡Una callejuela! Ah. Ah, ahora... Va, no va por la calle. He's not going down the street. Va por la callejuela. Entrar en esta callejuela tan estrecha. Vamos a ver. Estrecha. Vamos a ver si, si la encuentro. Tengo el sol de frente. Tengo el sol de frente y no veo nada. No puedo ver nada aquí. Ah, pero aquí... tengo la sol en, de frente. I've got the sun in my eyes. eyes. Ah, eso sí. Creo que hay una plaza. Ajá. Es una plaza. Es, es una plaza. Es una plaza uh, dentro del pueblo, ¿sí? Muy bonita. Esto creo que es una iglesia. Una iglesia. Siempre, siempre que veo una iglesia. Siempre que veo, every time I see a church. See a church. Sí. Every time Recuerdo I say church, que, que no estoy casado. <laughs> Remember that I'm not casado. <laughs> I'm not married. Okay. Uh, 
para que sepan, so you guys know. Eh, Juan es de Granada. Granada está en el sur de España, en Andalucía, la región de España que se llama Andalucía. En And Andalucía es una región más religiosa, más conservadora, más tradicional. ¿Ok? ¿Bien? Uh... No estoy casado, estoy soltero. Yo, yo en realidad, yo en realidad quiero casarme. Yo quiero... Ah, yo en realidad quiero casarme. I... I would like to get married. Yeah, to be honest, I'd like to get married. Casarme. Pero mi novia, mi novia no quiere. Mi novia no quiere. Ella no quiere, but my girlfriend doesn't want to. Do. Want to. Tu, 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 casarse. Pero sí, no quiere. She doesn't want to. <laughs> me da un poco de vergüenza. Me da un poco de vergüenza. Me da un poco de vergüenza. It's... A little embarrassing. It's a little embarrassing. Yeah, it's a little embarrassing. Vergüenza decir que tengo novia. Yo ya soy una persona mayor y, en fin. Uh, as I am an older guy. A mi edad, uh, my... la mayoría de la gente... Está, está casada. A mis Most años decir que tengo novia... A mis años. En fin. okay. <ríe> me, da, me da un poco de vergüenza. Eh, bueno, no importa, no importa. No ah, tiene. No importa, no importa. No importa, no importa. No importa. It, does, it doesn't matter. No, uh, uh, no importa. No importa es menos personal. No me... Ah, ah la diferencia. No importa. And notice we don't have a me here. We just had a whole bunch of examples. Uh, es posible decir no importa. También es posible decir no me importa. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? No importa. It doesn't matter. Right. With, when we take out the word me, no importa. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Es, es como decir, it's no big deal. ¿Sí? No importa. It doesn't matter. No me importa. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, if we put the me in, it makes it personal. Care. It doesn't matter to me. ¿Sí? Right. In other words, it doesn't matter to me, so I don't care. <laughs> no me importa. No importa makes it very impersonal. It doesn't no. matter. No tiene mucha importancia. Pero no la encuentro, tío. El problema es que no la encuentro. No sé dónde I'm está mi novia. Her. That's the He perdido a mi novia y, 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 y no, la, no la encuentro. No la veo por ningún lado. No. Ah, no la veo por ningún lado. I don't see her in any place. So we would say, I don't see her. No. Anywhere. anywhere, yeah. Anywhere. Por ningún lado means nowhere. Nowhere. Es, es muy malo decir, I don't see her nowhere, pero es así en, en español. ¿Sí? Uh, la veo por ningún lado. I don't see her any place at all. He perdido. Yo creo, yo creo que... And me perdido, now it's like, I went and got myself lost. lost. Mm -hmm. I got myself turned around. I got myself lost, okay? Oh, and we're just past our 11 o'clock hour, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there, ¿sí? Bien. Uh, we'll finish up anything you need for later, ¿sí? Un poquito, un poquito más. Uh, I'm going to give you some, uh, a new video to keep looking at some little word issues, little word issues, tiny words. Uh, like today we looked at, uh, you know, what happens if you take away the me from importa. We looked right. at what happens when you take away the un or una with the word novia. Yeah. And that's when we use that verb tener. Tener mm -hmm. novio versus tengo un novio muy guapo. Yeah. Hay una diferencia. There's a little difference sometimes with some of these little words. So we're going to continue with some of this. Your video is going to show you some ways that we sometimes change these little words and give it a little twist, give it a little different meaning. It's much more vocabulary-oriented kind of video, okay? Um, 
So we'll come away with that and practice with that a little bit. Uh, y eso es todo. That's it for now. Es todo para hoy. Bien? Bien. 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 Yeah. Perfecto. Bien. Okay. Bien. And I'll give you some conversation things and some things you can maybe insert to say some really short ideas uh, based on the new video. Sí. Bien. Okay. Eso es todo. Bien. Bien. Bye. All right. Bien. Muchísimas Bye. gracias. Bye. Gracias Bye. por. Bye. Gracias. Sí, gracias. gracias por participar. Muy bien. Y nos vemos la semana que viene. Espero que tengan muy, muy buena semana. I hope you have a really good week.